let's get started on lesson A problem set. We're still going to represent the following expressions with disks. We'll regroup when necessary. We're going to write an expression that matches the problem and then we're going to record the partial uh, products vertically and it's going to do be exactly as what's shown here and this is just an extension of what we did on lesson 7 problem set but now we have a three digit number times a single digit number. So we have 1 times 213. So 1 needs to be multiplied by each number and each place value. 1 times 3 ones is 3 ones. 1 times 110 is 10. And 1 times 200 is 2 hundreds. Add that together, 213, which makes sense because if I have one group of 213, I have 213. If I were to show this in the place value chart, that would be 200, 110, 3 ones. I have it one time, that's one time, I have 213. Um, down here, we have what? 1 times the 200, 1 times the 110, and 1 times the 3 ones. Let's do the same problem but with 213. I'm first going to start with putting 213 uh, into the place value chart. So that's 213, 200, 110, 13. And this is times 2. That's the expression. 2 times 213. So we want this 2 times. So I'm going to do 200, 110, 3 ones, 213. A second time, we have 213 2 times. And let's do our partial product. Breaking it down by part and doing the products, finding the multiplication value of each value multiplied by 2. So if we have 2 times 3 ones, 2 times 3 is 6, it's in 1's, stays in 1. Then we have 2 times 1 group of 10, 2 times 1 is 2, it's a 10, so that's 20. And then 2 times 2 hundreds, 2 times 2 is 4, the value is hundreds, 400. Add that together, 426. <coughs> um, you could, if you'd like, rewrite it down here, 2 times 2 hundreds, because it's 2 hundreds, 2 times. 2 times 110, because it's 110, 2 times, and 2 times 3 ones, because it's 3 ones, 2 times. However, it is the same as what we wrote here. It's just correlating these for you so you understand how did they get that. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ones, 1, 2, 2 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 hundredths, which matches the answer we got, as it should. 2 times 213 is 426. Let's move to the back side. On number 3, or excuse me, on 1D, we can see that we have 3 times 1,254. And now we are doing a 4 digit number multiplied by a single digit number. And I'm actually going to set this problem up for you, uh, help you get it started, but I'm not going to completely finish it. And um, I'm going to leave that to you to finish, and we can check it in the morning. So we have 1,250, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 4. And we want that three times. So that's the first time, I'm going to do it a second time, I'm going to do it a third time. 
I have 1,254 three times. And yes, I made a little error. I got a little excited when I was doing the dots. And what that is here is 1,254 times three. So just as here, we did the ones three times, the tens three times, the hundreds three times, and the thousands three times, I need to do each place value multiplied by three. Three times the ones, four ones. Three times the five tenths. Three multiplied by the two hundreds. And the three times 1,000. And once you do that, you add them up and you'll get your answer. And then here, you need to go back and regroup as needed. So I did the chart for you. It's 1,254, three times. I set up your equation here you have 1,254 times 3. For partial products, you're going to take each part and multiply by 3. So you did the 4 ones times 3. The tens, you had 5 times 3. In hundreds, we have 2 times 3. And in thousand, we have 1 times 3. For the final problem that we're going to do together here in the video today, I'm going to do 2 times 4,036. And the directions for this problem ask you to represent the expression with this, uh, use a method shown during the lesson, regroup as necessary, and then to the right record the partial product vertically. So I'm going to do thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, one, two, three, four thousand, zero hundreds, one, two, three, tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. This needs to be done two times. So there's the first time. Let's do 4,036 a second time. 4,030, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 4,036 two times. Going to do my expression. And then I'm going to do partial products where I'm going to multiply each place value, each part, um, by 2. So first I'll start with 2 times the 1's place, which is 6 1's. And 2 times 6 is 12, the 2 ending in the 1's place. 2 times 3 groups of 10, 3 10's. 2 times 3 is 6. Remember, this is in the tens. 6 is in the tens place, so there's a 0 here now, 60. Which makes sense because if 2 times 3 is 6 and you have 6 tens, that is 60. Um, next, we have 2 times 0 hundredths. Yes, even though it's 0, I don't just disregard it. That is a value. 2 times 0 is 0, so we still have 0 hundredths. So the zero is in the one hundredths place value, if this was hundreds, tens, ones. And <coughs> that is followed by zero hundredths. And lastly, we have two times our thousands place value, which is four thousands. Two times four is eight, and it's in the thousands value. So eight thousand. Adding this together, we have two, seven, zero, eight. Eight thousand seventy-two. And if I were to regroup here our disk um, as needed, because I can see there's way more than ten in the ones value, please. And here it's saying I should have a two. Well let's regroup and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That group of ten needs to be put in the proper place value, the tens place, leaving me with two in the ones place, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the tens place. We we'll still have nothing in our hundreds. We have a zero group of one hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight thousand. We have eight thousand seventy-two. And that's it for tonight's homework. So just a couple problems with me. One for you to complete on your own. And we will be checking that in the morning.